Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julianne and I am in the process of trying to read every book I own and get to TBR zero. I am a long way off, but I am determined and enthusiastic. So if you want to follow along with my journey, please do subscribe. So today's video is a little bit different um, because I thought that Rather than show you my usual planning process, um, which is just making a list of all the books I want to read uh, for the month, I thought I would go a bit more in depth and, and show you how I fit reading into my life. Um, especially because this month, uh, the, the list is basically just last month's list with the um, Illuminate books I want to read this month <laughs> added on, um, plus a few things that are uh, um, graphic novels that have come in on uh, from the library that I want to read on my tablet. So yeah, it's not that exciting. You can see it on screen right now. It's just a long list I've put in my plan that I'm, I'm trying to work through. Um, so the first couple of weeks of October, uh, I was on uh, what I'm calling self-funded leave. Um, I was on holiday basically, but between jobs, so I didn't, I wasn't getting paid for that time. I have just been spending some of my savings <laughs> living off of that. Um, but I'm starting a, a new job next week. Um, and so, uh, I thought that would be more interesting for, for you to look at, uh, because during the holiday, I, I did plan, um, quite, uh, tightly. Uh, but I didn't plan a whole lot of reading time. I planned more sort of writing time and socialising time and extended periods cleaning the house time. Uh, there was little bits of, of reading in there, but uh, not as much as I hope to get um, on with now that I will be back at work or at work uh, because it's a whole new job. Um, so this is this is what my week's looking like at the moment. As you can see, I've already blocked off uh, when I'm working, when I'll be in the office, uh, which is on Tuesday and Thursday this week, um, and when I'm working from home, which I'm doing Monday, Wednesday to Friday. The the grade work from home blocks are actually um, more complex on Monday because they haven't got my work laptop ready and my like work login details. Um, so I'm having to sort of join meetings as a guest. <laughs> uh, so so I had to put them in my own calendar. Normally I will just block it off um, like this and then I will put in when I'm having lunch. Um, because it's a new job I haven't put in when I'm having lunch on the work from home days because um, I don't know yet what those days are going to look like. So with my last job what I would do when planning my week like this in my own Google calendar is I'd open up my work calendar at the same time and I'd look at when I had meetings that I could pop in here when I want to have lunch. I, um, this is for two reasons. Uh, one, I just really like knowing when I'm having lunch. Um, and I would also put that in my work calendar. Um, and uh, the second one is so that my partner can see when I want to have lunch um, because he doesn't have as many meetings in his job as me. And we tend to have lunch together and watch something and just basically hang out for that hour uh, when we're both working from home. Um, he works fully remotely, so he's at home uh, almost all the time uh, during the working day, whereas I have to go into the office two days a week. Uh, so that's why this looks like that with these big blocked off sections, but only lunch visible um, on the uh, Monday. Um, I will put in breakfast as well um, on the work other work from home days. Um, I'll probably just buy my breakfast out um, on the days that I'm going into the office, or I'll make overnight items and take it with me. Um, and then before I start work or once I've started work um, for reasons that relate to how my body functions I don't have breakfast at home on days when I'm going into the office um, but yeah when I'm working from home I also tend to have my breakfast once I've actually started work I tend to eat it like while I'm looking at my email um, but I'm not doing that on Monday because I'm not starting work till 9.30, that's when my first meeting is, and then I'm not finishing till 5.30. Yeah, so there we go, that's the kind of explanation. I've also already put in walks and going to the gym, um, so I 
again for, for health reasons need to move for at least an hour every single day so I've put the one hour walk in in the morning here um, on Monday because it's more convenient because I'm, I'm not finishing work till 5 30 um, and then if I walk for a whole hour it'll be getting dark um, during my walk which I'm not particularly uh, a fan of because um, it limits where I can walk um, and then on Wednesday it's going to rain in the evening according to the weather forecast so I want to get my walk done in the morning Friday I want to go to the gym after work it might be raining but I need to go to the gym on one of these days <laughs> um, because of the way my office days falls I won't be able to go to the gym earlier in the week because another fun fact about my body <laughs> is that if I go to the gym in the evening before I've got to go to work the next day, sometimes the gym makes me like too wired to sleep. Um, this is just so annoying. It's happened um, many times before where the gym like normally just makes me feel tired afterwards, especially if I go in the evening, but sometimes it can make me feel really wired and then I have trouble sleeping. So I don't go to the gym if I have to go to work the next day. I, I will just do a walk or something else instead that's not gonna like get my blood pumping so much um, and I have a writing course in the evening at um, 6 p.m. on Tuesday and a choir rehearsal in the evening on Thursday at 7 30 um, so because I'm going to work that day um, I will be grabbing something to eat like on the way back like from town um, so actually what we'll do is we'll stretch we won't put a new event in. I'm going to stretch this to seven because I'll buy my dinner um, like on the way. But I might bring it home to eat or I may not, depending on how busy Leon is <laughs> uh, or wherever I go. Oh, I'm going to a new place. I'm going to Charing Cross Station now. So um, it'll be whatever eatery um, feels the most appealing to me right then. Um, I'm going to wait to go to Pizza Express, I, I, just, I guess, or something different. Um, but yeah, uh, that, there isn't, as you can see, much reading time available on Thursday. There also isn't a whole lot on Tuesday um, because of the writing calls, although I might get to read some after dinner. Um, but there's potentially a fair bit on other days. So for, I'm going to first of all cover the morning. So I'm going to look at that Friday with this obvious gap. Could copy over um, getting washed and dressed at 7.30. I have this um, extension where you can duplicate the click of a button but it, for some reason doesn't quite work properly and makes you see the like um, single day view <laughs> instead of the week view um, after it's complete so I've popped that in there and then I'm going to read for an hour so I'm going to put read I like to put reading and writing in in this grape color so that it stands out um, generally I use this like uh, bluer kind of lighter purple for um, tasks um, and stuff uh, I don't categorise and then actual events like you've got I've got um, pip cards, tarot, book club um, are in the sort of default purple which is my default colour. Um, this here is I like record a long voice note for my best friend I call it the podcast it doesn't actually take me an hour but I block it in for a whole hour so I can see it and don't forget it. Um, so yeah, here we are. I've got one reading slot in already. So um, on Mon going back to Monday, we're going to work through the days and see what I can do in the evenings. And then we'll tackle the weekend after that. Um, so uh, I think on um, I've got making dinner on there on Monday, but I'm actually going to also put in an hour for eating dinner. Eat dinner and read and it's a work from home day so I think I will be able to read um, and then after that I'm going to pop in get ready for bed and this is like a task um, it probably won't take me a whole hour but I'll put it in there, as, in there anyway and then because I'm going to work the next day I'm going to pop in um, like one hour of reading actually you know what I'm going to do I'm going to reverse those so I can go to bed like after I've got ready because sometimes reading wakes me up too much. <laughs> I'm really so excited. So I'm going to just put read. Um, I'm going to make that read. Uh, oh, I need to mention vlogging in here. So I'm going to put make dinner slash prep breakfast slash vlog in here. Because then I can do a vlog update while my dinner is cooking. Prepping breakfast is just making overnight oats. So that doesn't take very long. Um, 
that's if I decide I am going to take breakfast out with me. I need to find a suitable container, that's the only issue. I won't have a laptop with me, so it's a bit more flexibility in terms of weight in my bag <laughs> than that otherwise might be. Um, so yeah, uh, moving on to, um, and I'm going to put sleep in as an event, um, in my event colour, there we go. Uh, so Tuesday, I'm going into the office, I'll probably read it, listen to an audiobook on the way, um, uh, it's quite a short journey, it's like 16 minutes into town and then uh, I walk for like 25 minutes to work, um, so that's quite a good time I think to listen to an audiobook but it not really like enough time to bo I think worth bringing a print book with me to read on the train, I think I'll just stick with audiobooks for this job, uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, then obviously when I get home I've got that writing course in the evening, This this tiny gap here isn't worth like putting anything in, I would think that's just when I'm going to be getting ready. Um, and then I'll have dinner um, and I'm going to assume that my partner will cook dinner that night. Um, dinner is his job by default. Um, and then after that I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, get ready for bed. And then I'm going to duplicate I may not necessarily actually go to bed at 10, but I want to be feeling those sleep vibes. <laughs> Definitely want to be winding down to at least go to bed by 11. Um, so then the next day, working from home, whoop whoop, um, my partner um, has a board game session like online in the evening. Um, so he'll want to have dinner like fairly early. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to him to do the dinner and I'm going to block in um, an hour of reading because he won't start dinner before six in any case. Um, I'm going to put vlog slash read. I'm going to put vlog first because I was putting read slash vlog in for the last couple of weeks and it didn't work out um, <laughs> because I kept reading and not vlogging. So I'm going to put vlog in front in the hope that I actually do it. Um, pop dinner in there then I'm going to put um, get ready for bed right after that because I'll have to like take my makeup off and stuff because um, I'll like put it on for the morning. Um, yeah, yeah, and mm, no, you know what, let's make it all nice and symmetrical. I'm just going to copy that, do another hour of reading, yeah, yeah, there we go, we can tweak that. Uh, I will not have time to read <laughs> on Thursday. Uh, I know that because um, I'll go to choir and I'm going to stop. I'm going to be working in the office on future Friday, so I'm going to go to the pub after choir. So I'm going to want to go to the pub. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to put sleep in um, on Wednesday because I forgot to do that. I'm going to put sleep in. A bit later on Thursday, so there we go. And oh, to remind myself not to stay in the pub too late after choir. Sometimes we don't go to the pub, and, I don't, and then you know I don't need to worry about this. I can just come home and do all this stuff, and I might have some time to read. But quite after we go to the pub, so I'm just going to pop this in to remind myself to go home. Um, <laughs> Right, then we have Friday, um, where um, I'm reading in the morning, I'm going to the gym in the after the evening, um, then dinner. Is there going to be anything that I want to make for dinner? Because I feel like, I feel like after going to the gym it's better my partner does it, so I'm going to put dinner in here. Actually no, he's out, he's going out that day, um, so I will need to make dinner make dinner but I do have a dinner in the freezer I have a beetroot chili I made the other week so I might might eat that instead or I might make something we'll see how I feel that day I'm not gonna plan that now it's a week away um it's not a week away but it's five days away all right and then dinner and then um yeah I'm going to do the getting ready for bed first this time around because um it's Friday and I'm going to be tired because I'm going to the gym and I'm not going to want to like sit down to read my book and then have to get up and get ready for bed. Um, so yeah, I'll just pop that in there. 
Um, and then I'll have to sleep after that because I'm not going to realistically on a Friday night go to bed earlier than 11.30 probably because my partner's going to be out. Um, so the weekend, this is a bit up in the air. There are a couple of things I'm considering doing that weekend um, and I haven't confirmed them yet. There's like a list of exhibitions and I need to work out which ones I need to go to ASAP. Um, <laughs> before they close, so I might do that. Um, there's, there's some other things I'm considering doing. Uh, like, I have honestly contemplated going for a roast uh, because I had a roast when I was on holiday, and now I've remembered how great roast dinners are. <laughs> I'm like, can I fit one in? Can I afford one? Um, because I'm not getting paid till the end of November because I'm starting this new job after like the payroll cut off. So I'm not getting paid till the end of November. I'm like, can I stretch? Uh, this is all stuff I need to work out, which I might might find time to do on Saturday. Have a look at the budget, because um, I've got this like life planning here thing slot that I've put here on Saturday morning. Um, yeah, I don't even know what writing I'm doing on these days, but um, I tend to plan my weekend on Friday, so I will look and I'll do the in depth plan like I've done for the week on Friday. I tend to plan the week ahead on Friday, so at that point I would look at um, I would look at my work and I would look at my um, future plans really, um, and I will um, I kind of make that work for the next week and include the weekend in that. Um, but um, yeah, so strictly speaking. Um, I should not be touching this weekend at all, really. I should be leaving it till Friday to do, because I, I go from Saturday to the following Friday in these, this planning process. Um, but I, I wanted to kind of talk through it because there are some things that I'm considering doing. Um, and I usually do that planning like uh, during my lunch break. So while um, Nick's putting the soup on, because that comes out of his lunch break, um, I have like a few minutes to, to do my planning. So I'll, I'll do that then. Um, and, and kind of leave this as it is but what I want to do is at some point have lovely big reading slot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on Saturday evening uh, do three to five um, Saturday afternoon rather I'm going to put read and then I'm just going to have to move it at some point next week when I do the planning for next week um, you know that will remind me that I want a big reading slot at the weekend um so yeah that's that's my week that's how I plan my free time to make sure I do all the things I want to do um it really doesn't feel like that much time <laughs> uh because I'm working full time and that's that's kind of how it is there's also other stuff I, I will need to figure out as the week goes like um editing videos but um, I can do that on Saturday morning if need be. I think if I go out at the weekend next weekend, it'll probably be Sunday rather than Saturday. So, so yeah, that's that's kind of my plan. I'll, I'll figure it out. As I go, I will tweak this if there's something that comes up that I need to fit in an evening. i uh, probably looking at doing that kind of thing Monday and Wednesday, but I think I'll probably be all right to follow this plan on Monday, and it'll be Wednesday, which is the one most likely to change. But I'm hoping to keep those vlogging and reading slots in there because I really need to vlog and read. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see how this week plays out in reality, please subscribe and watch my uh, vlog video for this month when it comes out. You'll see me again soon. Bye.